This is Film Focus with Emily Cook. When I was a kid, this used to be my favourite place in the whole world. I think this would still be my favourite spot. Me Before You is the latest film for Hollow Crown director Thea Sharrock. The film is a dramatic romance and tells the story of a young and quirky Louisa who moves from one job to the next to help her family make ends meet. A cheerful attitude is put to the test when she becomes a caregiver for Will Trainer, a wealthy young banker left paralysed from an accident two years earlier. Will's cynical outlook starts to change when Louisa shows him that life is still worth living. What did you think of it, Sarah? I'm really torn on the subject of me before you. Um, the disabled community has had a hell of a lot to say about this film. I can understand their points definitely. Just speaking personally, I felt it was a really, really powerful story mm -hmm. of love and despair in equal measure. I think it was a little bit saccharine in some ways, but then it was balanced nicely by some of the struggles that Will, the, um, the character played by Sam Clayfin, was going through. I found myself putting myself in the shoes of both of those characters. I just thought the, the acting was really good and it really forced you to ask questions of yourself when you're watching it. So it was a really humane film? I thought so, yes. And, mm. I, and like I said, you know, I can see why the disabled community may have been offended by some aspects of it. In fact, they did actually hold a protest. Um, the people from the disabled activism group, Not Dead Yet, staged a red carpet protest at the premiere. Members of the group have spoken out to the media about their discomfort at the film's mm -hmm. plot. That they've said that the film is offensive um, to disabled people and the vast majority of whom want to live. It's balanced in the sense that it's representing a story of somebody who is finding that life very challenging. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And the actress and disabled activist Liz Carr um, said that our lives and those of our loved ones are not marred in tragedy as depicted in the film. Mm, so I yeah. mean that's something to bear in mind that actually, as with anything, it is a film, however it's not entirely representative. I think it was also interesting actually that um, there's been a fair amount of people who are fans of the book speaking out and saying that they weren't happy that a major event, which I obviously won't spoil, in the book isn't represented in the film either. Oh, so there are other people having their you know, negative thoughts about it as well. Very interesting. Thanks for listening to Film Focus with Emily Cook. Happy movie going!